done. Linwood Bus Exchange that comes through from Hagley Ferry Meet. Sarah. Thank you very much. So we've had um, ongoing concerns from um, residents uh, about the bus stop in the area and in fact uh, the meeting that we had where we decided this um, happened to be about three days before um, comments in the paper decrying the state of bus stops in the east. Um, so the timing was really good there. Uh, what we'd like is that the council explore options for building a covered integrated bus exchange in Linwood. Um, we've had some information about the potential for shifting it into Cranley Street into the, the mall space there. We'd like that to be one of the options looked at, um, not just simply um, the same ones on Buckley's Road. They have been upgraded recently, or in the process of being upgraded to larger um, ad shell shelters, um, which have a higher amenity value and rubbish bins, those kind of things, to help limit the antisocial behaviour. But actually, this is the fourth um, busiest bus stop in Christchurch, and it, it's really not fit for purpose currently. And so we'd like Council to look at options which could possibly include being somewhere else. Um, yeah. Yep. So, um, Leanne, we, we had a discussion where, where to take this either through the um, Infrastructure, Transport and Environment Committee and then to do some work on this and then through to the Joint PT Committee. Yeah. It could be that if it, if it stays on Buckley Road, Buckley's Road and doesn't involve any bus route changes that that that's completely appropriate, but if it looks like there's options that might in, um, require um, other parties, then it would need to go on further afterwards. Well, bearing in mind that we're actually trying to get these interchanges inside the malls now, and this could provide an opportunity <coughs> to actually investigate the feasibility of doing that. Yeah, there's, so there's a report on that in here. Yeah, because yeah, you were originally kind of um, referring it through to the Public Transport Committee, but because they don't have the delegation, it came back to we, Council. Yeah, we were very clear. We, we weren't sure where the delegation lay and no, what the No, it's not so much where the delegation early. lay, it's whether, whether the, it, it, it makes some sense for the joined up committee to make a joined up, you know, sort mm. of um, recommendation rather than whether it's uh, going to be just dealt with in isolation. I mean, if it, if it involves moving um, the bus routes, it would probably need to go beyond um, the ITE, ITE Committee and Council. Yeah. But we're not quite sure if it does or not yet, so... Yeah. Would it actually go through the mall with this? No, we, we initi our initial um, request was for information looking at the potential to shift it to within the mall space. Staff have come back with some really clear information saying that that's really not easy and may not be the best outcome in the Cranley Street section, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that there aren't other options that involve them all, um, especially as Council owns some land within the current expanded mall, uh, the old library mm -hmm. site. Leanne, yeah, would this be something we might want to take to a workshop with a joint committee perhaps, or do, was it, would it be better oh, for I, Council I staff? I personally to... think that a, a workshop with the community board and the ITI committee in the first instance might be the way to go. Do some spade work Because on it. Um, it is hard, I mean I know you've got pictures and I really like having pictures, but it doesn't really show me what the vision is, you know, what... Well there is no vision, we need the options, but the, the problem with going into the mall at this point, in that, in that centre part of the mall, is that the mall has limited opening hours. Yeah, and that's the buses right. are, uh, you know, the buses come on that through road down Buckley's Road, which is a very direct line, and on that key corner um, for heading further east. Mm. And so actually diverting through the mall adds time, but it also actually doesn't have very much oversight in the hours that the mall's not open. So it might be... But what's the passenger traffic like it's when the It's the fourth mall's busiest in When the mall's not open? Yeah, because people are heading back to Brighton and stuff through there. So it's quite, yeah. It's still busy in the evenings. No, no, evening, yes. But yeah. the mall's open in the evening. It's open till... Six. Six. Yeah. And eight... We don't have information on the specific numbers eight during the day. Eight o'clock on... Um, is it Thursday or Thursday, Friday? Yeah. Th they're usually Thursday and Friday. Right. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And, I mean... And the, um, the countdown's open. Countdown's open hours. till <coughs> ten, mm -hmm. no, and the warehouse, the warehouse is warehouse open till midnight. Is that right? No, I think the warehouse is, is till eight or no. nine. No, no, it's not later than that. Oh, well, no. anyway, 
But yeah. the point is, is that uh, yeah. How, right. what, what do you think about a workshop with the completely yep. with ITI and the and the community board? Yeah, yeah, and staff. We need to look at some options. Okay, um, so it, it needs to be higher amenity. So can we can we use. change that the um, that a workshop. Um, uh, I don't know, comprising the ITI committee and the Hagley Ferrymead Community Board be held to explore options for and then just, yeah, so t take out the council and leave the rest of it as it is. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, sorry. Did you add? Okay, right. Yes. Delete. Yep. Is that all right? Can you read that? Does that work? Read You were trying to fix that. Oh, sorry. We're trying to fix that. They they just decided that they were like the green. They were in the pink today. The green. Well, you're on fire, aren't you? Maybe the bulb. Anyway. That a workshop comprising the ITI committee and the Hagley Ferrymead Community Board be held to explore options for building a covered, integrated bus interchange in Linwood, which would be a very good outcome. But, well, is there anything further to the workshop, though? Do we, when is the outcome of this only having a workshop, or does that workshop then decide? To no, do no, no. It would report back. So um, the question is, uh, the question is, is who it would report back to, and I don't yep. want to predetermine that. Because, as you say, it may that's be right. that there's a change in bus route required, and if that's the case, then it does need to come back to the um, we report joint back committee. to the appropriate. Um, with a report Please. back, oh, well, I just don't want it to stop at the workshop. It's not going to stop okay. at the workshop. <laughs> I mean, that would. Um, do you really need to say in a resolution that it has to report back in order to get it to report no, back? I think there's an expectation that it would report back anyway, yeah. okay. isn't there? Um, well, why, why don't we say with a report back to the um, well, report back to council, and then we can we can direct where it goes to from there. There you go. All right. So, who would like to I'll move, move that? Um, oh no, Paul. Yanni, Yanni. and seconded by. Um, <laughs> the other yeah, times, I knew. Yeah, just to say, um, you know, I think I was probably too optimistic through our district plan that we would get integrated transport mm -hmm. in terms of large scale developments in our city. I think if you look overseas, what you can see is a number of malls actually have integrated public passenger transport terminals. And I think the mayor made reference to possibly the opportunity at the Palms, which I just think is, is such a no brainer. It's, it's just, you know, these places buy up local areas, residential properties, rezone it, they ever <coughs> increase their footprint and yet there's almost nothing that goes back in the way of public infrastructure despite all the problems that become with the huge increase of people using these sites. So it is really unfortunate that um, this has been around for a very long time in terms of suburban interchanges. Um, in fact, um, Abley Consulting did a report in 2000 and eight actually suggesting that Eastgate was the number two priority or was in the top four of suburban interchanges and there was actually property on the other side of Buckley's Road that was available where the old gas station used to be which is sadly now being developed into housing so you know the longer we leave it the less opportunity we have um, interesting enough the consent that's been issued for the mall in terms of redevelopment um, actually made comment on the bus route and the design actually is such that um, it, it means the bus route has to be rerouted and a bus stop relocated to occupy the site of our leased library land. So should the lease expire without renewal, there are no alternative routes available on the plans to accommodate the bus. ECAM were notified and they were supportive of that. So, you know, we really need to take a holistic approach to land use planning around these big activity centres. And I think having integrated public passenger transport facilities is, the, is definitely the way to go. Um, so let's not delay this. You know, unfortunately, I think previous councils took the money off for the suburban interchanges, which meant they fell behind. But this is one of the top priorities, and I think we can get a good solution if we engage with the mall as well. And I think 
I don't know whether in terms of that workshop or briefing, it would seem to me that actually engagement with them all is critical to this in terms of their plans and our plans. So I support this. Um, I think it really makes sense. But I think we do need to think about strategically how we can get these things in place rather than just relying on us to always come up with the worst case scenario based on other decisions around poor land use planning. Very good. I'll put that motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. And then we